Looking for a software that allows you to diagnose, test, and grade your bulk Apple or Android devices in minutes? Well, look no further. I would like to introduce M360 Soft. M360 Soft is a Windows diagnostic and utility app software. If you're familiar with this industry and have looked into grading softwares, you may have heard of other companies such as PhoneCheck and NSYS. One of the biggest advantages of M360 Soft over these guys is you get to pay for a monthly or yearly license with unlimited checks. Unlike the competitors, which make you purchase upfront per device credits, which can cost you hundreds, Plus, you lose them if you don't use them at the end of the year. M360 Soft starts at a monthly subscription of 22 US dollars, or you can purchase the annual license for $220. Luckily, the team at M360 Soft has given me a promo code to share to you all to receive 20% off. Just use coupon code phone doctor when checking out and you'll get that 20% discount. I will leave all links and promo codes into the description area below if you're interested in purchasing. Let's head on over to 360soft.com to download the application. After arriving on their page, you can see it loaded with tons and tons of features. Let me show you some of those here. So great thing about this is that it does work for Android phones and tablets. It does work for Apple phones and tablets. Um, you could do a IMEI read, a serial read. You can check for any kind of Google locks, iCloud locks, check for Samsung Knox warranty, even check for international GSMA background check if you're an international individual that may be handy to you. Um, it allows you to run full diagnostics, you can do a certified device erase so that means pretty much after you get the device set up, you can do a one press erase and it'll wipe it completely. So that way it's at factory startup for whenever you uh, sell the device to a customer. So one other feature that is pretty cool that is not shown on here is that it has an OEM check. So for iPhone devices, if you have a screen, a battery or a camera that is not OEM, it will notify you and print that out on the ticket as well. So besides you having to go into the general settings and checking to see if uh, your genuine part error message is there, this software will tell you that. And one of the best features that I really enjoy is that you get unlimited device checks for the month or for the year, which is a big, big plus. So for 220 bucks, this is definitely a time saving tool for any of you out there doing bulk repair and need to do bulk testing on your devices. So to download this software, it's very simple. You just go to your download section. As I mentioned to you, this version works on Windows only. They are in the process of getting it working for Mac OS. So that will be due later on in this year, I believe. Once you download it, you want to just run it, install it. I already did all this previously to save us some time and you do need to log in. So it's going to prompt you to create a username using an email and of course a password. And there we have it. This is your user interface for the M360 soft. So you can see in here, there's a lot of cool features, you know, um, it does give you instructions on how to enable USB debugging mode. If you're running an Android device, you do need to set that. Luckily today, I have a lot of these devices that I'll be testing just to show you guys how quick of a batch you can run these and um, how much time you can save. So there is a legend map here that shows you exactly what you're looking at. So if you have any questions on the software, you could just click on the main features and it gives you a little detailed explanation showing you what each icon indicates. Uh, device information here. This is going to show you any kind of serial number, IMEI, um, blacklist checks, phone capacity, battery capacity, all that good stuff. So you can see everything, an example of it testing an iPhone 12 mini on this page here. Diagnostics. So this is the cool one that I really enjoy because currently right now we are doing a diagnostics individually. With this software, we can do it all um, with the software that's embedded in the device. And grading, which is really cool if you're deciding on selling these devices later on. You can choose, um, you know, if your screen is cracked, um, you have frame scratches, if it comes with the original box, if it comes with the charger, you can indicate all 
this on here and have it print out on a PDF sheet. Or you can also print out on a barcode label and attach it to the device as well. So really, really cool. You get different reports. So you can see different types of reports that you do make. So you can see here that we, this example is showing that there was 29 uh, finished device tested. And of course you can see any kind of color tests, um, any kind of tests that it's it, it, that you process and of course any errors with the tests. And another cool feature is of course your data wipes. So you can wipe all your devices with a press of a button on your computer. And this is the new feature I talked about here. This does allow you to, it recognizes basically any kind of aftermarket parts. So for Apple devices, you have a uh, aftermarket battery or uh, aftermarket screen it's gonna let you know. Uh, bypass, this is really cool and I really like too, is that this allows you to bypass your Apple activation. So say you have an Apple iPhone and it is on the main setup screen, you can plug it in and you can bypass that activation screen. So no longer having to skip through everything and getting through all those steps to get to the main menu on the phone. But let's dig in. You can see here some of our data that we've processed already. Okay, so this main screen here, this is gonna be your main testing screen. Once you have a device ready to go, you wanna click up on devices. Either if they're plugged in or you gotta set them up manually, they won't show up until, once again, you gotta bypass the developer mode or you need to bypass it using the Wi-Fi integration and the QR code scanner, which I'm gonna show you both methods on how to do that. So let's move forward and let's begin testing some of these devices. You are gonna wanna go to the device screen up on top here. Once you're there, if your device is on the main setup screen like so, you can see that this Samsung tablet is on the main factory restored state. What we need to do is we will click on set up Android device and we will enlarge the QR code. So what we need to do is we need to enable the camera on the screen and to enable the camera, you just simply tap the screen several times until you pull up a camera, see that? All right, now that we have the camera enabled, we can go ahead and scan this QR code on our laptop. Once it's scanned, it's gonna give you a setup screen. So it's gonna ask you if you wanna set up your device, go ahead and choose accept and continue. And this just takes a few minutes. What's happening here is it's pulling your save settings from the software. So one key note is you do need to make sure that you go into the software and um, choose your internet. That'll save it onto the software and that allows you to automatically pick it up onto your device whenever you scan it. As you can see here, it went ahead and bypassed that screen so I did not have to go through all those steps or anything like that. So for this step, it is only going to bypass the startup. You still gotta go into developer options. So to get into developer options, what we need to do is we will go to settings. We go to about tablet. And then we go to, I believe it's software information. Yep, correct. And then you're gonna find the one that says build number. On the build number, you're gonna do several taps again. Just keep tapping. There you go, and you can notice that it says developer mode has been turned on. Now we need to go and enable USB debugging. Where are you? USB debugging, which is right here. So allow USB debugging, yes. Perfect, all right, so that is one of the steps that you do need to take before you connect. Now we can safely connect our USB. And there you can see how we have a pop-up. It's picking up the tablet. We just need to accept the USB debugging for it to recognize and pick up the name. And once we do that, you can see port 13, which is gonna be this one, is picked up and it is registering the Samsung Galaxy Tab Active 2. So now I'll have to go through all these, enable USB debugging and we can plug each one individually. Okay, so I have finished plugging in the rest of the tablets. You can see how all of these tablets are recognized and they are showing on here, so that's a good sign. Now, if you take a look at it here, you can see all the different data that it shows. So this is pretty important because it'll track your IMEI. Um, it keeps a track of your warranties. It lets you know about your battery health, all that good stuff. But let's go through the first test. So if you notice we are here, you can see that we can do a device information. I'll go down the list here. So you can see that it shows you the model, product code, Android version, lets you know how much storage is available, IMEI, and several other features. Let's go back. Here we can do our diagnostics. So this is the cool one that I really, really like 
like about the software is, so this screen will allow you to do your full test. It'll test your Wi-Fi, your cameras, pretty much everything. I'm gonna show you a full test just so you can see all the features that this software tests on here. So this first one, this is gonna be the touchscreen test. So I will be selecting touchscreen. So you can see this is where you test your touch and you do have 34 seconds to complete this. Once it completes, it's a pass, it gives you a green check mark. So we go next. Next, we're gonna do the multi-touch test. So you wanna touch with two or more fingers and multi-touch work. Uh, we do want to test our color screen. This just helps you test any kind of degrading in the colors. So you just tap the screen and it changes. We're done. Did we see any dead pixels? We didn't, so it passed. LCD test, we'll start that. So it's gonna go up in brightness and then it's gonna decrease. Good, so that passed. Audio, we're gonna do audio test. So this is where you plug in headphones. I didn't hear any headphones or it, there's nothing connected. I don't have headphones on me, but if you were to get some headphones and plug it in, it would give you a pass. So we'll just fail or skip that one for now. Here is our speaker and microphone. So we're done, it passed. Hardware button, so we're gonna start that. We're gonna test the up, down, power, and we're done. If you have any more buttons, you can press those. You know, you can hit the menu key button. Auto focus, so we'll start. So this is where you wanna scan a QR code. I don't have any QR codes on me, but you would scan it, and if it focuses and picks it up, then your autofocus works properly. Stylus pen test, if you have a stylus, you can test it. This one doesn't support stylus, so we'll skip. Biometrics, this is when it's gonna test your fingerprint. And you do, for the biometrics, I noticed on these on the fingerprints, you do actually have to test that one manually. So that's a downside on that. We can do accelerometer. Boom, 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 boom. Pass, so we hit that little ball and it hit all four corners. Gyroscope, this is a gyro, so excuse me for that. So we'll put the device down, pick it up, left, right, rotate, and that does that test. Light sensor, let's start that. And you can see the light sensor, this purple darkens as you cover it. So the light sensor is good. USB and charge and test, of course it's charging because we already had it plugged in. And Wi-Fi test, it's gonna test the Wi-Fi. Make sure that you can pick up any kind of network around. And Wi-Fi is good. Bluetooth test, we'll start that. And there's all the Bluetooth channels it's picking up, so that's good. GPS, let's start that. And we need to turn on the settings in our app. So we do, that is a feature that you do need to enable is turning the location settings on. NFC, this one doesn't have NFC. Now that you've bypassed and ran through all these tests, you will get several different options. So you can see what failed and what skipped. So if you want, we can retest all failed and retest all that we skipped. So if we skipped anything. Now we can go back to our software and on our software, it shows everything that you see here on your tablet. So you can see all the different tests, everything that was ran and what was failed. So now one other option is you can export all your data. So once you have completed your tests on all your tablets here, we can go on here and export them. And if you notice, you can see how there's different PDF reports you can print. You can print a full letter size, or if you wanted to, we can print out like a QR code size that we just apply it onto the device. So really cool, it gives it pretty much like a report card of letting the customer know that it was tested and what's working and what's not. So here you can see that it's been inspected by M360 Soft. If you scroll down, this is your results page. So you have several different results showing what worked, what didn't. Now to continue testing the rest of them, you would just follow those same prompts in each tablet, whichever one you have. But I do want to cover the next feature down on here, which is your grading. So if you do notice, you can see how we have a grading option. This allows you to choose what's wrong with the device. Say the screen is cracked, you know, we can choose it's cracked. Say the LCD is damaged. Say the case on it is damaged as well, has lots of scratches and your back glass is scratched. And then you can also choose what accessories came with it. Let's say it came with the box and uh, USB charger and any additional comments that you may want to leave. And the final one is your results. Let's take a look at the results. You can see everything here for grading scale. So there, and now it shows our grading records and it shows all our testing records. So all in all that wraps up M360 Soft. 
Um, you know, I think this is a very handy tool for those of you out there who are testing devices in bulk. It can definitely save you guys some time, and it does work on Apple. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have any Apple devices to test it on, but I did cover some of the features and everything that it does do and test. So that wraps it up, guys. If you're interested in purchasing, I will leave links down below in the description area so you guys can pick up the software. If you guys have any questions, comments, or want to see anything else in further detail, please let me know. The Surgeon signing out. Cheers.